imagine you are in a world where everything is connected. Cause and effect are always intertwined, and it can be difficult to tell which came first. But sometimes, people make the mistake of assuming that just because one event happened after another, the first event caused the second event. This is called the post hoc fallacy. Here are some examples of the post hoc fallacy. A community believes that sacrificing virgins causes rain. Every time they sacrifice a virgin, it rains. So, they conclude that sacrificing virgins causes rain. But what if the rain was caused by something else? Maybe it was just a coincidence that it rained after they sacrificed the virgin. A study shows that there is a correlation between video game playing and violence among teenagers. This means that the two things tend to happen together. But does this mean that video games cause violence? It's possible, but it's also possible that there is another factor that causes both video game playing and violence. Maybe teenagers who are already violent are more likely to play video games. A student wears a lucky necklace every time they take an exam and they always pass. So, they conclude that the necklace is lucky and it helps them pass their exams. But what if the necklace is actually just a placebo? Maybe the student is just more confident when they wear the necklace, and that's why they pass their exams. Everyone who has ever drunk water has died. So, some people might conclude that drinking water causes death. But this is obviously not true. Everyone dies eventually, whether they drink water or not. The post hoc fallacy is a common mistake that people make. It's important to be aware of this fallacy so that you don't fall victim to it. If you see someone making an argument that relies on the post hoc fallacy, you can point out the fallacy to them. You can also ask them to provide evidence that proves that one event caused the other. The phrase, correlation does not equal causation, is often used as a counterpoint to the post hoc fallacy. This phrase means that just because two events are correlated does not mean that one causes the other. For example, there is a correlation between ice cream sales and shark attacks. This does not mean that ice cream sales cause shark attacks. There is probably another factor that causes both ice cream sales and shark attacks, such as the weather. It's important to be critical of the information that you consume and to be aware of logical fallacies like the post hoc fallacy. By doing so, you can make better decisions and avoid being misled.